Hello, my name is Tony Vlasovic. I went to uh, Soldan High School, 94 to 96. I was a uh, I was a freshman there, and um, one day, one day, 1996 on my birthday, my grandpa showed up to Soldan, and uh, he was a crazy person, a sane psychopath. He uh, wanted to murder all the people, all the kids there. So he, uh, he told the staff that uh, he was shooting a movie. He Also, all my family members, m most of my family members was there. Uh, their names were uh, Frank Vlasovic, my father, um, Eric Schmidt, which was a guy who married my uh, cousin Julie. And uh, uh, Danny Tolan, Danny Tolan was married to my uh, aunt Shirley Vlasovic, and uh, also, so Danny Tolan, my grandfather Frank Vlasovic, my dad Frank Vlasovic. My dad wasn't really involved; he was outside. He was just outside watching. That's what he does. But like, uh, my whole fucking school got. Uh, uh, invaded by my family and they told the staff that they were shooting a movie and uh, they were about to kill all the kids I stopped them they were putting uh, this drug in, in the uh, in a in a Gatorade Gatorade tub it was a drug made for uh, make you sleepy it can actually kill you it's a drug that they give you for pre-surgery I don't know what it's called, but like uh, this is a uh, how the school looked like. There's a church by it, and so then it's right by it, and uh, it's on North Union Boulevard in in St. Louis. But they were gonna kill all the damn kids, and uh, they were telling them it was a movie, but they had all the kids in the gym. They were gonna pour gasoline on it, gasoline on the gym. Light on the fire. Told everybody it was just a movie, but they were actually gonna do it. And uh anybody remember this who went to Soldan back then, please uh give me give me uh give me a uh what's up? Like hello, I remember this or something. Because uh is is stuff of my nightmare. It's been haunting my for the rest of my life. And I tell you other stories that happened there was uh after uh I stopped them I I took my grandfather and uh took a, a pocket knife to his throat after he cut my nose. He cut my nose and at first change he gave me a pocket knife cuz he was crazy. Now, why would somebody just uh hand over a pocket knife you would say uh, cuz he was insane. And uh, my grandfather was crazy, Frank Vlasovic, he recently passed away. He, he'd been in prison for a long time, since like 2006. And uh, he recently passed away a few months ago. They let him out of prison to die. And I saw him a few months ago. And uh, yeah, he was going to kill everybody, all 200 st plus students and the staff at Soldan. And he, he could have pulled it off. He, he convinced everybody he had paperwork. He had a camera. He convinced everybody he was shooting a movie, and everybody got to drink this Gatorade in the cafeteria, but it was actually poisoned. And uh, he had the other half the students uh, in in the gym uh, ch trying to uh, talk, talk. Danny Tolan, his uh, son-in-law, and uh, others. Greg Skaggs was another person. Uh, he was a boyfriend of my cousin, uh, uh, Shirley S Speaks. He, uh, he, he, he was in on it too. So it was uh, four or five guys. And uh, my grandfather had an M1 Grand in his hand. And I, uh, he told the staff that, uh, he's not, uh, he's not going to kill everybody. And the M1's actually fake. It's corked. 
but he wasn't corked. You know, bullets that he had in his hand wasn't real, real, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, what do they call it? Blanks. They, uh, was actually going to kill all the damn students and so then. I'll show you how some of these guys look like. Here's, a. Uh, Here's uh, Eric Schmidt. Uh, he's, he used to be married to my cousin Julie. I show her how she looked like. You can find it. Yeah, that's how she looked like. She recently uh, committed suicide. Probably murder. Took sleeping pills. Probably got forced to uh, swallow sleeping pills by this guy. Married to this guy. He's a rapist and a child rapist and a murderer yeah and this guy's a fucking uh no good scumbag too he he uh he, the, this guy and this guy and my uh, uncle joe speaks i can't find him anywhere on the net and uh, J joe speaks kidnapped a girl named sabrina from my high school raped her cut her up uh they the uh he they fucking uh, tied a, a tourniquet around both of her arms and both of her legs and chopped her legs off and kept her as a kept her as a human sex doll and uh they dragged her through the dragged her through the fucking uh river river big river south of uh st louis it's a little bit country down there it's kind of like uh a little bit beyond the suburbs it's not exactly the woods the sticks but like uh you start seeing cornfields anyway uh, dragged her through the uh river then they uh buried her alive but like uh, i need to get some of this stuff out. it was 1996 but they've been fucking with me all my life about this because i stopped them and I snitched on them. I try to snitch on them with the cops, but they can't find no body. They can't find no evidence. You uh, know, these these guys got so lucky. They, they won the lottery. They could have went to prison for life. They could have had a death penalty. So many times, it's not even funny. And uh, I need to share it with somebody. So I hope I hope somebody from Soldan could actually remember. Remember some of this, so they can very I can verify, can be verified. So I feel like I'm going nuts. I know it happened, and I, I tell people this type of stuff, and nobody believes me.